you guys are early. I don't even have the arc droid set up yet. Um, why don't you go watch a video on how I drew what we're going to cut today, and then when you get back, we'll cut it out. That'll work. Um, go watch it, and we'll be right. And um, I'll be. I'll have this set up by the time you're done. Do a, a simple drawing. I'm gonna open up Inkscape, and we're gonna do a, a sign. So a simple sign with some words, some letters on it, and maybe a shape. That um, let's see. I'll just do a new blank document. So just to demonstrate how to make a sign using Inkscape, um, I've had some comments on the YouTube channel. Um, where people are curious how I did some things and uh, asking me to show them. And since I do make YouTube videos, it seems like a good idea to do that and show it. So like one of the first things I like to do is go to the document properties, uh, change this to, I really just want it to be inches, but I change it to US letter in case I decide to print it. And that automatically changes that to inches. I like the units to be inches. So that's a good start. So the first thing we're going to draw is a rectangle. Good start for a square for a sign. And let's uh, let's make that let's say three inches tall by eight inches eight inches wide. That's a good rectangle. So now I'm going to click the node tool. So you can see the nodes that it takes to draw a rectangle. There's just three of them. And this zero, this circle in the corner here, I'm going to grab that and drag it down a little bit. And that's how you round the corners. I just think rounded corners looks good. So that's the first step of there. So that, that's basically the, the outside shape of our sign. Um, now let's add the letters. No, actually, I don't want to add the letters yet. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add... Um, let's give this sign a theme. So I was in the Navy for six years, so let's do a Navy thing. So I'm going to import a, a drawing that I've used in the past for the ship's bell project I had. And I want it going down. I just want the anchor, anchor SVG. So we'll open that guy. And it's huge. That's okay. So I've got this giant anchor, which is fine. Uh, I'm going to lock the ratio so it doesn't get distorted when I resize it. So it'll keep the same ratio to height and width. And I'm going to make this about six inches tall. That's good enough. And then I'm going to combine this in with this, the original shape we've got going here. Let's do something like... Uh, Uh, I don't know, there's no wrong answer really. Something like that. And so I'll leave that highlighted. I'll move it over a little bit. Alt key and move over there. Okay, so I still have the anchor highlighted. Now I'm going to highlight the rectangle. So I'm going to combine these two. So if I go path, combine. That's the wrong answer. Control Z. Union. Oh, we've got to highlight them. So I'll highlight these two guys again. Path. Union. There we go. That's what I had in mind. So now the anchor is actually part of the rectangle path. Um, this is probably a mistake because we're, we're going to actually cut this out on the arc droid. This is the plasma machine. And we don't need these, so I'm just going to highlight these nodes, and delete them, and I'm going to zoom back out. I'm using the plus and minus keys to zoom in and out. So there we go. That's the outline shape of our, or the outline of our sign. And the thing we need to do now is add some text. So like I said, this is going to be a navy themed. So let's do navy. Shocker, huh? And that's actually a really good size to use for this sign. Um, 
if it hadn't been, all you have to do to change the, let me go back to the text tool, highlight everything. It's in, in I have this set in inches, but we could change this to say 2.5, make it bigger, but three actually is the size I want to use. So let's use three and it centers it pretty well. So now this text is not a P, is not part of this path. So the 100 nodes in this path, you can look down here and see what you have highlighted. It's a single layer, one path, 100 nodes. If I click this, we have text. You could do object to path and change the text to a path and edit it. Um, what I'm going to do though is just leave it as text. I'm going to hit the hold the shift key and click the rest of the drawing. Then I'm going to do path difference. And now this is a single path where the navy is cut out. Well, in our case, it will be cut out of the sign. Now if we do, if we click the node tool, you can see that it, this is all one drawing now, one path that um, will be cut out. Now, one problem we have with this drawing is uh, this circle is going to get cut out. No problem. We want that. That's going to drop out. But the center that's A, we don't really want that to drop out. So I'm going to zoom in. And you can see our scale up here. So that's about a quarter of an inch. But it's tough to say. Um, I like to, to bridge things at least an eighth of an inch. So a good tool for doing that is let's just draw a circle. And we'll turn the fill on. That's a stroke frame. Turn the fill on. Turn the stroke off. Now let's make it red or something easy to see. And then let's set the size of that circle to be, I'm going to do an eighth of an inch, 125. Oh, turn off the, I don't want to keep the ratio of the real original drawing. So, so a round circle. So we need, so this is a good measuring tool. So I need roughly, I like to have an eighth of an inch for bridges. So we need something about that size. So what we can do is bring this over to our line and let's go back to the node tool, click our path. And I'm going to add a node here and another one here. And that should be about right. I'm going to move my circle now, my measuring tool. And so we'll go back to this. Now we've got these two nodes. I'm going to highlight these two and I'm going to say delete the segment between them. Click. I'm going to highlight these two and do the same thing. Delete the segment between them. Now I'm going to highlight these two. And I'm going to add a segment between them. And the same here. And add a segment between them. So now we bridged our A so that A, the center of the A will not drop out. Let me back up a little bit. I'm going to drag my eighth of an inch measuring tool through there. I think we're good. So we won't have to worry about dropping that out. And there you go. There's the sign. And now we'll save that to a USB. Well, getting ahead of myself. So I'm going to save this drawing as an SVG so I can come back and edit it again if I want to use it for something. So that's the first step. I'll call it Navy Sign GN. Navy Sign. I'm going to save it as a Inkscape SVG, save. And now since I want to take it to the ArcDroid, I can save it as DXF. Save it. So that DXF file can be imported directly into the ArcDroid and we can cut this out. There's one more step that I like to do uh, I've already saved it, and that is use sheet cam. So 
Go to graphics, open up sheet cam. And import our drawing. Navy sign. Here you can see our drawing. The internal pieces that will drop out are yellow. The red is the perimeter. And let's add operation. Grab the 16 gauge tool. Um, if you have multiple layers, you can check and change this, but we only have a single layer in our drawing. Okay, so there's our paths that'll be cut. Um, it's set up to do a uh, quarter inch lead in. And we can change where the signs, where we're going to start our cuts by clicking here. Say so I want that to start in there. The circle can start right here. Start the end there, A there, B, start the Y there, and that's pretty much it. You can see that you can control where it's going to start the cut for each item, and starting inside to outside is going to First thing it's going to do is go cut the Y, then the A, then the inside of the anchor, then the N, then the V, drop the circle out, then it will cut the perimeter. <clears throat> so that's it. Next thing you do is run the post processor. <clears throat> and it's going to leave the same name, Navy sign G code, and save it. There you go, it writes the G code out and that's all there is to the sheet cam piece. And I'll have it save my project. Good job. All right, there you go. So let's go back out to the garage and cut this out. Welcome back. Um, see, I told you I'd have everything set up when you got back. Um, hopefully I didn't bore you too much with the, the drawing details, but it's kind of a necessary evil to unlock the power of the uh, CNC plasma, the arc droid. Um, I mean, much like when I bought my welder, it didn't take long to realize it's great to have a welder, but if you don't have something to cut, there's nothing to weld. So then you buy your angle grinders, your bandsaw, plasma cutter, and then um, same thing with uh, buying the arc droid. I didn't really have much experience uh, drawing, certainly not drawing for um, CNC. So then I started looking into that. So. It's good to know those things, so you, it'll um, allow you to do way more stuff besides just using the uh, tools built into the Arc Droid. I mean, you can draw anything. You can draw on a computer, um, do it outside of the shop, and then uh, bring it out here and cut something cool. So hopefully this will be something cool. It's a, the Navy sign that we just uh, um, drew in Inkscape and Sheet Cam, and I've imported it already. Show you the settings and stuff. There's the sign inside the arc droid and settings. I'm doing 18 gauge. So let's get it fired up and see what happens. All right, we're all set up. Plasma's running. Um, air compressor's full, so this should be a uh, hopefully uneventful, uh, perfect cut. So <laughs> let's see what happens. All right, so there you go. Um, from idea to metal in uh, one short video. Um, I mean, it takes a little while to learn how to, to uh, use Inkscape to draw, but uh, hopefully this will inspire you to give it a try. Inkscape's free. Um, 
you don't have to do the uh, sheet cam part. You can just import the DXF. Um, if you just want to cut one of these out, uh, I'll put the drawing on the on the store. You can go to the QR code here to get to the store. And uh, as always, thanks for watching. Oh yeah, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the alert bell. Um, and I uh, appreciate you watching.